as you can see, we've got Dominic Sobber's light. Um, it'll be followed by Jürgen Klopp shortly. Um, is there anyone who requires translation? No, if there's no one who requires translation, we can, you can have an easy 10 minutes. Um, there is a microphone, so if you could raise your hand if you'd like to ask the first question. Vinny, Vinny already has it. Dom, just to start with, uh, do you feel you're completely back to normal after the injury now? And just how frustrating, how difficult a time was that for you, particularly missing out on a major cup final? Yeah, I'm back. Um, so um, I don't feel any pain. Uh, hopefully it stays like that. Uh, also for the future, yeah, it's the worst thing what, what can happen actually to you. Um, to be injured, to to be not allowed to have the team even if you want and you are watching from the television or from the from the stands. So hopefully never comes again. But um, as you know, as a professional football player, it can come all the time. So that's why we have to take care of ourselves and um, yeah, then... We will be ready for every game. You've still got three more trophies to go for as well. In particular, how does it feel to be involved in a title race at the moment that is so tight between three teams in your first season in English football? No, it's, um, it's a good feeling. Um, we won already one. Um, we have three more left. I said it before. Um, me personally, I want to I wanna win all three. Actually, all four. Um, but yeah, we have to... We have to we have to look game by game, so we cannot look uh, that far um, to the end of the season because it's long, long way to go. It's uh, a lot of games. Um, so yeah, Europe League, FA Cup on Sunday, uh, and then after national team break, the, the Premier League starts again. So yeah, but I think we are ready. How do you rate your chances of winning all four, giving the manager the perfect send off, and how do you feel about the manager going at the end of the season? Um, I think we have a we have a quite good chance, um, but even I think everybody thinks like this. If you ask the City players, they would think they have a good chance. If you ask the Arsenal players, they would say they have a good chance. So me, I think we have a good chance, um, but we have to work for it. So it is not coming like uh, from the air and jumping in your hands uh, the title. You have to you have to work uh, every game. Um, you have to give your best. Um, doesn't matter who is in the first eleven. Doesn't matter who comes uh, on from the bench. We we are a team and we are ready to fight for each other. And um, yeah, about the about the Gaffa um, end of the season. Of course, everybody is everybody is looking only for the games, and we are not thinking about that. Uh, what's happening end of the season? We can talk about this end of the season. Thank you. Carlos. Hi Dominic. Um, your first season at Liverpool um, and there's been lots of injuries as well. How difficult has it been to get used to different combinations in that midfield as the season has gone on? Has it been difficult? Yeah, it's never easy to come in the new, new league, in a new team with the new players. But um, I think we showed that... Um, that as a team we can reach almost everything, not yet, but we are on it. And yeah, we have completely new midfield, so with Maka, with Endo, with Ryan, uh, with me. But I think we showed we showed quite good up, like we are ready to, to show us also in the Premier League. And there's been a lot of younger players been playing on this side with the injuries as well. You're only 23, but you're captain of your country and you've got a lot of experience already. So do you kind of pass on that experience to the younger players as well? I think I'm not old, hopefully. <laughs> um, um, yeah, I have, I have quite a lot of experience for my age and also, um, yeah, I'm captain of my national team. But um, still, I have the, the young guys... Um, as much as I can if they have any question they come to us but probably if you ask them I will be not the first one who come, who they come to because we have all the guys and also with more experience in the team like uh, like Verge, uh, Mo or or this uh, type of players but if they come to me I will I will give the the best advice what I have mm -hmm. 
Hi, Dominic. Um, before you joined Liverpool, you would have had an idea of what the club was like from the outside. Ha has it matched expectations or exceeded expectations? Exactly the same. Um, yeah, when I when I moved here, I had an expectation, of course, how everything works. Um, but actually, it works even better. <laughs> so, yeah. Has anything, has anything surprised you at all about it? Not oh. really. Um, I I had a, um, I had a player from national team Peter Gulacci who played here before, and um, he had talked to me uh, about the things here, how it works, what is different to here, to Germany, to Austria, and um, so I could prepare myself actually how it's gonna how it's gonna work, and um, yeah, so I'm just happy to be here, and um, hopefully. Many more years. Carl, up front. Hi, Dominic. You, you've spoken about your injury, and the disappointment of, of missing the final and stuff. I, I, when you when you come back, do you use that frustration as as extra motivation for for missing out on two months of the season, and you, you've just got two months to go? It's not easy to come back because, as you see, every player who got injured. We have to build up ourselves in a games as well. So it's not that from zero to you go to hundred, you have steps to to get over it. And this is not the easiest one when you are ready. You feel you are ready to play, and you still get only 15 minutes chance to play, or the next game uh, 40, and the next game 60, and then maybe you can get to 90. So this is a build up. What as a player hard to understand, but. Um, we have to accept it because our body is the the main thing what we use in the game so we have to take care of it so you, are you still building up to what will be i guess your best form that you showed at the start of the season you still got to get to that back to that level do you think yeah yeah i'm on it i'm on it just the back hi tom um when Wataro Endo arrived at the club, not too many people have heard of him, but you obviously played against him in Germany. He's impressing a lot now. So what is it about him playing against that makes him so difficult and how impressed have you been playing alongside him? Yeah, I played against him when he was at uh, when he was at Stuttgart and um, he's a player like he's everywhere. It feels to you it feels like you passed him and then you turn around, he's already there. So I can understand why the why the people are thinking like how is he there exactly when I just passed him? But um, yeah, I'm happy to to have him in my team. And when he signed, did you think it was a good sign? Obviously, I'd say fans didn't really know who he was when he arrived. Well, it's not my decision to decide is a good sign or not. Of course, we are. He shows that uh, he's important for the team. This is the most important. So you have to ask the the gaffer it was, it, if it was a good sign or not. Last one there. Uh, hi, Dominic. Um, you have had a blistering start since you came to Liverpool, but the last couple of months, to, because of the injury, it has been forgetful in a way. So how do you plan to, or how do you wish to end the season on a high, especially with Klopp leaving, and like how do you make, plan to make the most of the remaining few months with Klopp? Well, um, maybe it's not because of my injury. Also, we can say because of my injury, but it happens also that... Um, you have you have really good games. You have less good games. You have a bad game. Um, we are also not perfect. Um, I think none of us had uh, all the games uh, showed their self hundred percent what um, what he can really do it. But especially my side, um, I'm every day working on it to get uh, my best shape. Probably. If you think the best shape was the beginning of the season, it wasn't. So I can be even better. Thank you, everyone. Thank you.
Philip. Yeah, before we chat about the game, if I was coming in as FSG's CEO of football, an unlikely scenario. Thank God you don't. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think it would make sense for at least to try and have a conversation with yourself as to whether you are fully convinced to finish it at the end of the season. With Michael Edwards, it probably makes even more sense given the history between the two of you. We, we had that conversation. Yeah. What response did you have for it? No, no, we had a conversation. Michael and I always had a really good, a really good relationship. So it was never, um, it was always very good on a professional basis. Anyway, uh, really good, and um, a lot of good things um, happened. Obviously, in the time when we were here together, and Michael decided um, to do something else, and um, now he's back. I'm really happy. I'm, I'm, I'm really happy. So I t said a few times that I want. To see the club in the best possible place after I left, stuff like this, so everything we can do as long as I'm here, I will do. And after that, um, other people have to do it, and I'm, 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 I think it's a, a top solution, honestly. Top solution. And our conversation was obviously great. Uh, we, we spoke about a lot of things, about what I think about um, different things, players, stuff like this, situation in the club. and. Uh, because I was in all the time while he was not in, so what did change, what might have to change, these kind of things. So like a, a, a really good talk, and how is that? I think it's, a, it's top news for the club. Just to clarify though, did he try to persuade you to, s no. to stay? No, because, and that's very important in the job, because he's not dumb. <laughs> that is not, that's not, that was not a subject to talk about, to be honest. It's like, can you imagine I, I changed my mind now? Just can you? So, of course not. I cannot say what I said. It would be like if I um, never have a, another club in England and sign for next year for our neighbors or whatever, or whoever needs a coach. That would be completely crazy. I don't say these things without thinking before. So it would mean I start only now realizing how great this club is. I know it all the time. Um, it's for me the best club in the world, So and I, and I leave it anyway. That's what I try to explain. It's nothing to do. I just want the club to do as good as somehow possible, and I'm really sure that we create a good basis with the right people in charge, and Michael um, is a top choice. When it comes to this game as well, obviously you've got a decent cushion, but how does that impact on, on team selection? Because you went with a pretty experienced 11 over in, in Prague. Can you play more of the youngsters this time around, or do you have to be wary of, of giving Sparta a sniff of getting back into the tie? Yeah, first of all, I think it's really important that you, uh, whatever football game you play, you should. It's Sometimes you have to chase a game. If you lost the first one, one nil, you can't ignore the first one. But even then, you just have to win that game first and foremost, and then you will see how how, how much that means. The result you can get, and for us, it just means we want to play the best possible football game. That's always that's always the way we decided about the the lineup. Um, and I couldn't tell you in this moment what I will do if I wanted, and I don't want to, but I couldn't because it's just I, after that I go to the training ground, and in these times you always. Wait until the last second and everybody tells you he has a bit niggle here, he has a bit of problem there and he might need an extra day or these kind of things. We had that yesterday already with a few players who need an extra day. So let's see um, how that looks now today. And then I make my decision about lineup. But the lineup is, well, the, 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 the idea of the lineup will be to have the best legs for that game because that's what we need because we have to ignore the result I would say but not the performance and performing wise they had massive chances against us they caused us massive problems in moments we've had to make a few outstanding saves um, and that's in my mind and not how we scored the goals and stuff like this but uh, because that was mainly individual quality it was a few good football situations as well but it was individual quality a lot and and so we need to keep rhythm for that part of the season now. It's not about um, on and off, it's about keep the rhythm and, and, and keep going. And uh, don't think about the next game on Sunday, even when the opponent is Manchester United. Carlos. Hi, Jürgen. Um, it has been relentless for your players playing week in, week out. Um, and your players haven't really had any rest, but has the momentum helped playing in all these competitions, going into big game after big game? 
Yeah, you can see that like that in the end, but it was anyway tough, super tough because um, yeah, game after game. We have now teams. I think Arsenal played last night, the last game until after international break, right? So that's a long break. Everton didn't play that this week at all, if I'm right. So that, that that's not good as well. I don't think they like it. That they think over three weeks in the middle of the season is fantastic. Um, but we have our challenge with it. It's, uh, that's it, that the challenge we have now, and we play it to, tomorrow, and then on Sunday, and then the players. There obviously two games um, for their countries. Pretty much 85% of the players do that, uh, which is uh, then a tough one as well. So we just don't think about it. We just don't think about it. We just play the games. It's not about and momentum. Is always maybe in the moment we have it. I don't actually know if we still have it. We had it at the weekend a little bit, but now um, do we have it still? I, I don't know. We have to see that tomorrow night. But if we don't have it, we have to get it as quick as possible and keep it. Um, and 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 keep it through the game, and then we will see how we de how we deal with that and how the result will be. But good results always help. Um, they always help. Good performances always help. Um, if you, but even that is a challenge to 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 bring that again on the pitch because if you play bad, then actually it's clear you have to play better. So if you play good, you want to play as good at least or better. So that's actually the idea, and not um, that you have consistency in that. The boys were quite consistent, I have to say now, in recent weeks. But it's a, a long, long run in in all competitions, a long run in, and this, we are not even close to the finishing line. It doesn't feel like that. I can't see it yet, the finishing line. I just see Sparta Prague wants to put things right. Um, and we have to play a really good football game because it's our home game, it's our stadium, it's it's our competition. We wanted to make it our competition uh, from the first day of the of the competition. So we want to go as far as possible. Um, and it would be cool if you could say after the game as well. So we still have the momentum, but in the moment I don't know. It. And Joe Gomez, um, one of those players who has been really consistent uh, this season. Um, He's played right across the back line, played midfield as well. How much has that developed him as a, as a player? And does he see the game in a different way as well? I couldn't be happier for Joey. Joey was obviously in our most successful years. He was an, for us, super important, super, super important. Played an incredible amount of games, 19, 20, stuff like this, probably 18 as well. I cannot think that long back, but um, and there some injuries uh, and our stuff happened a little bit. And then he, he was in and out of the team. Always important to us, always important, but I think that this season is the most consistent um, he played, especially because of different positions. I think the, the, the least games he played on centre-half, probably, um, so because we always needed him somewhere else, um, and he did exceptionally well. And I think it helped, it developed his game massively. If you would have asked me for the game, uh, before the season, what do you think about inverted right or left back, what do you think about generally the six, stuff like this. I would, don't know if I would have said, yeah, yeah, of course, come on, so you can do that. Um, but that was opportunity, what opportunity sometimes um, does to you, that you really um, grow with, uh, with the challenges you face. And that's what Joey definitely did. He's in exceptional shape and long may it continue. Carl. Hi, Jürgen. You Hi. gave... Mo, 15 and 30 minutes off the bench in two appearances. Is he still in the building up process or are we getting to a point where he's he's almost back to... Yeah, yeah of course, it's possibly as long as would have been possible playing longer last game, but it was just a game, how it is, you cannot... It's important that we build up more, obviously super important, um, but in this game, changing at half-time was not necessary or possible um, because we have to deal with changes pretty carefully. Um, so yeah, he's he's ready. This is for 90 minutes, but long, he's ready. He's top fit. Everything is good now, and uh, we don't have to deal with these kind of things anymore. Richard. Yeah. Hi, Jürgen. Um, since you gave your news a few weeks ago, you've always expressed a lot of optimism about the future of the club. But since then, in terms of both the way the young players have come through, the results the team has had, and now the news about Michael Edwards. Has that only served to reinforce your confidence? Yeah, absolutely. The club is in a really good moment, really good place. So, of course, the only people will, will measure that only at the end of the season and have a look what we what we really achieved. But that's not that important for the future. What we achieved is it's for now. 
for the future is important. How how good is the team? How good are the players? How good is the structure? Um, how good is the organization? And that's and uh, what I say. That's where my optimism comes from. So that's why I think it's yeah, it's it's, uh, it's a rather good moment to be to be with LFC. So that's how it is, and um, really happy about that. But that that's a general question and a general answer. I have nothing to do with the game tomorrow, so I, I'm absolutely on my toes for tomorrow. And now we have to make sure that everybody feels the same and then we should be able to play a good football game. And that's all what I want. Paul Joyce from the last one, Dave Anderson. Yeah, could I ask you about the the growth of Virgil this season? Even as, obviously, a, being a talismanic player for you, but do you think the captaincy's given him something extra or his own determination just to step up again as do you see a different player maybe from last season or if just a, a, an armband right here would make us the best version of ourselves again we all should try it <laughs> just wearing something it's not a problem eh? so put it there and let's see what happens um yeah definitely a big step again but just back to his best and if, 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 I, 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 when, when you play the level world you played for so many years now for us and there's a dip in after an injury stuff like this and everybody discusses it like it's over it's not nice but it's the world we are living in so that's how it is so you never it was never a real problem um, but we all need and if you if, especially if you play on the level the boys play little little problems can lead to a big difference in performance, that's how it is. You don't feel 100%, just 80, and you step out and you don't win it, and the player turns right instead of left. You read the situation wrong and gone. And the whole world tells you, yeah, oh, he's not the best defender in the world anymore. So dealing with all these things at a pretty young age, because Bert is now not that young anymore, but he's still a young human being. It's not that he is 60 and, and saw, it, saw it all. So, um, and super ambitious and wants to reach a lot of things with his club. and. Um, um, and all these kind of things, and yes, the captaincy helped. He took the role sensationally well. Um, all of them did, the whole leadership group stepped really up. Now it was a little bit of a problem that most of us, have. I think in, in Prague was only Robbo on the pitch and Birch on the bench and three of the others, I know, Mo, Mo was there as well, so yeah, coming back slowly but surely um, but they all made made a big step so that was always the plan and the idea and the hope that it will be like that when you lose the leaders of the last few years um, and that worked out really really well that was that's like I hoped for not that I knew that it will happen but that was exactly what I what I thought it would be fantastic if it could be like that and that's all due to the boys that it worked out really well last one David Anderson And after that, 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 that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, just come back to Mo. Uh, he, he says he's ready for 90 minutes. Can he start? Because I know you folks. No, I'm not sure if he's ready for 90 minutes. I'm not sure we should do 90 minutes, but he's ready to start. So that's that's how it is. Um, it's, he would have been ready to start in the last game, but then you don't know how long it how long does it make sense. And you have if that's always a problem if players come back. So it's like they Mo. I can't remember game where I thought. Well, most of cannot play, no problem. It just doesn't never happen. So it's not cool not to not happen. But we have there's a game on last Sunday and there's a game and there are ten more Premier League games and hopefully a lot more cup and European games, stuff like this. So they are as important. And Moma is completely fine with that. Would you have loved to play a little bit longer? Probably yes, but it, they, I cannot before the game decide when we do what these kind of things. So, but he's ready to start. So, is that then already? Surely, Shelley then be 90 minutes on the pitch. That depends on how it looks in that moment and all these kind of things. But we all know we more usually can play game after game after game after game. Now he was out for a surprisingly long time, um, and, but now he's back, and now we have to make sure that he that we can really count on him consistently again. Thank you, Abdul. Oh, welcome.